Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to announce a settlement has been arrived at between our union and Minocom Mining. If it is ratified, work could resume on Mars within 48 hours. Yes. Mr. Atwater, there have been rumors circulating here today that this agreement really benefits the company more than it does the miners' union, that it is, in fact, a shotgun agreement. The agreement is being reviewed right now by our rank and file. The indication is that it will pass unanimously. Those rumors are being spread by those who don't have the union or its members' interest to heart. And what about the rumor that in two years' time, service androids will be replacing over 90% of the deep miners working on Mars? That's absolutely untrue. There are people who, for their own selfish reasons, have fought against this agreement. I will not waste your time telling you who they are. You already know who they are. And I will not stand up here and lie to you and tell you there were no dissenting voices in our union. There is always dissension. No red-blooded union can exist without it. But the time for dissent is over. I feel this agreement will stand the test of time. So when our future members look back at this day, they will say it ushered in a new era of prosperity for this union. Now this is a good agreement. Will make for strong and binding. Oh! Oh! Minocon headquarters in 02 minutes. Acknowledged. Minocon security has the shooter isolated in the building adjacent to the one in which Atwater was shot. Atwater make it? There is no word on his condition. My officers will be covering the, the door. We'll go inside. I'm perfectly capable, Detective. Your people are paramilitary now. Which means keep them out of our way. So we're done, we'll get along just fine. This is Minocom property. Your call, but I'm along for the ride. Fine. Have your people cover all the exits. We flush the shooter, make sure he doesn't get by them. That won't be necessary. The whole building was locked down as soon as that water was shot. I have to use a code to open this. Makes you wonder how the shooter got in. I will cancel out our readings, leaving only one. It will take a moment to lock on. He's this way. Do you know what kind of weapon he had? A gauze sack, close combat model.
He's on the other side of these. Let's go. You're behind me. You back me up. Keep your head down. Take it easy, all right, buddy? Put the gun down and no one has to get hurt. Somebody already did get hurt. That's what you're doing here, isn't it? Now listen to me, all right? I not want to hurt you. Just put the gun down. Just ease the gun down, all right? I don't think I can do that. I do not want to hurt you. Okay? Look, I do not want to hurt you. Just do me a favor. Just put the gun down. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to do that myself. Put the gun down! No! Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. You're supposed to be backing me up. Look, I was just doing my job. You all right? Yes. He's still alive, Dave. Medic! You saw him, what'd you think? Drugs, maybe, a junkie. But he was definitely under the influence of something. Well, he certainly doesn't fit the profile of a professional assassin. Lone gunman, psychopath, whatever he is, we've got him. I want to tell my superiors this case is closed. The sooner the situation with the miners is diffused, the better. You don't agree? Now you got this kid. How does this kid get past consortium level security? In and out through two shielded doors, all the while carrying a beam weapon that should have set off every field detector in the place. Huh? How does he do that? I can't answer that, but I do know that it, it was set. It indicates a sophisticated level of planning I don't normally associate with psychos or junkies or crazed lone gunmen, I'll tell you that much. My assessment also. A DNA check makes the kid Ray Dalton. He was a minor. Union guy? Got his full card two years ago. Father was a minor, died on Mars. Lives in Lower South with his sister. No other relatives. I want to talk to the sister. A unit's bringing her over to the station as we speak. Good. We have the shooter. You go rounding up half the city and the resulting media circus will destroy the chance of selling Atwater's agreement to the miners. Makes sense that while Atwater's alive, so is his agreement. Meanwhile, it's very likely that the people that wanted Atwater dead and put the gun in Ray's hand are out there right now preparing to finish what Ray apparently could not. Hume's right. We talked to the sister. Meantime, we've got limited manpower. For now, guarding the suspect will be a CPB responsibility. Morales, get a team over here. I'm moving Atwater to another floor. We'll meet up there and best decide how to deploy our two units. You froze up on me back there. In the warehouse, what happened? I wish I could explain it, David. At the start, it seemed like this Ray Dalton and I were communicating. Communicating what? I'm not sure. The link was broken when he tried to kill himself. But I experienced some kind of symbiosis with him. When he discharged his laser, it felt like it was burning me. I think I should stay here.
Don't even think about it. Things seem to have quieted down a little. Dr. Levy, do these EEG readouts seem peculiar to you? In what way? He's showing abnormally high beta activity. You know, they're flying in Felix Latham, one of the most prestigious neurosurgeons on the continent as we speak. This is really his area of expertise. Would it be possible to run some tests before he arrives? Hey, I'm only the chief resident. And if you know anything about egos among surgeons, I would hate to overstep my bounds. The more information you have, the more likely you are to impress. What were you thinking exactly? A comparative EEG analysis, sign and systolic with a baseline. You have some sort of background in forensics? Actually, I have a rather extensive background in forensics. I guess as long as the tests are non-invasive. I'm convinced Dr. Latham will be impressed by your initiative. What did you say you studied? What'd you find out? Ray is still unconscious, David. However, the amplitude variability and the frequency of his EEG wave pattern is high, indicating that... Plain English. It is unlikely that the abnormal activity in Ray's brain is due to the injury he sustained. Okay. But you still think this brain activity, this is what caused him to do what he did? It's hard to say. I can tell you that quantitative and qualitative indications call for a normal brain activity between 4 and 20 hertz. Ray is spiking over 100, so anything is possible. One thing is certain, David. There is something in Ray's brain that should not be there. Something beyond residual swelling from a wound. All right. Let me know if he wakes up or you find anything else about him. His brain pressure seems to be within normal limits, given the natures of his cranial injuries. I see from his chart he's had mannitol, but there's no record of a deep pain test. Well, since he's not technically comatose, but... Your background, forensics or brain surgery? I'm not a doctor, but I'm very well read. Oh. His eyelids are fluttering. Are you familiar with ocular procedures? Mm -hmm. I want to get an anti-seizure med into him, just as a precaution. We may also wish to hook him up to a DSX-437. If there are seizures, it will help identify the locations. I think I know where to find one. Detective David Hume. I know this is a difficult time for you, but I need to ask you a few questions about your brother Ray. Can I get you something for this? Some ice or something? I'm fine. A couple of miners who didn't like what the news vids were saying about my brother paid me a visit. So, what about Ray, Detective? I mean, there. There must be some misunderstanding here. My brother would never kill anyone. I just, uh. There's no way my brother could do something like this. Were you aware of any involvement Ray had with the dissident minors? Anything at all? He wasn't involved in any group. He wasn't political, like our father. Our father was very well respected, and thank you. If a man like Atwater needed someone to rally the union, my father was always the first one there. He was what we call, in the Brotherhood, a, a blue blood. 
He used to say, it got so cold in the deep mines that it needed to be blue. Was, uh, I was looking over your file. I saw that your mom died when you were young. Ray must have only been about 10 or 11. Dad wasn't around a whole lot, so I sort of became a surrogate mom to Ray. Oh. It's a lot of responsibility. Well, minors do what they have to to look after their own detective. It's bread and the bone stick together. Look, I know you said Ray wasn't political, but was he unhappy with the settlement in any way? No. He'd been out of work since the strike, and he had to come home, and... Uh, at least the settlement would have given him a chance to earn a paycheck again, right? He was proud to be a miner. Just like our father. Just like Atwater. A, a good union man. So you don't think Atwater was selling the union now? What about Ray? Like I said, Ray just wasn't... Political, yeah, you said that. I gotta tell you, Terry, I think someone put Ray up to this. I think maybe you know who or, or at least why. No. No? No, there's like a, a lot of people up there who don't like Atwater. You just thought of someone. An image, I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> you just, you don't, uh... Just give me the name, Terry. Come on, Terry, give you me You don't the understand, name. do you? Just give me the name. You don't understand something. If I talk, anything... I can guarantee you protection. You know, I am not afraid for myself here, and I sure as hell don't give a damn about helping you. You have my word. If you want to protect somebody, protect my little brother. Protect my little brother. You want me to help Ray? You have my word. Larry Becker. Larry Becker tried to recruit Ray against Outlaw. That's good, Terry. That's good. That'll help. How long ago did Ray see this, this guy? I don't know. Maybe three, four weeks ago. Uh-huh. Do you know where I can find this Larry Becker? But I'll tell you something. My little brother is not a killer. Some of those miners pay you a visit. I want the names. She gave me a name. Larry Becker. You think she's involved? No. And if information stands up, I want her left out of it. Good. What's the matter? You see these little spikes? He's showing signs of brain agitation. This man could seizure out at any time. Hey, 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 what's going on here? We're gonna prep him for immediate surgery. On whose orders? On my orders. Now, if you're kind to of step aside so we can move the patient. As far as my orders go, the patient stays right where he is. Fine, then we'll simply begin prepping him here. No one touches him until I get authorization. Got it? What exactly is the problem? Orders are the patient does not leave this room until I get the okay from headquarters. We have received no such orders. I believe that life-threatening medical emergencies supersede CPB's quibbles over jurisdiction. Dr. Latham? If you know who I am, why are you wasting my time? We need to get this patient into the OR. Before you proceed, were you aware of the peculiarities in his EEG readout? Exactly what is your area of expertise? I'm not here to do a comparative analysis of brainwave patterns. I'm here to treat this patient who's obviously suffering from acute head trauma. I believe there's more to it than that. If you're suggesting a tumor, there's no indication of that on the MRI. No, I'm suggesting something smaller, almost hidden. 
an artificial implantation. Just exactly who are you? I'm an investigator with the CPB. Perfect. I suggest you start med school before offering me diagnostic advice. Doctor, the pressure on his brain is increasing. The fluid's building. We don't have much time to waste. the pressure under control. Now let's see what's causing it. There's an old scar there. Yes, I see it. I wish you'd stay out of my way, Detective. He's obviously had some type of brain surgery before. I'll use it as my point of entry. his wound, nurse. Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. Increase his meds. Ready for self-termination. Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. Dementia is not uncommon with an injury like this. Injury is not the cause of this behavior. I'll find you some uh, scar tissue here. I want to remove it, nurse. Mission accomplished. Ready for self-termination. This is what is referred to as an implant. Though it looks much different from the archaic implants that were once used by recall. You are familiar with recall implants? I was one of a select group of neurosurgeons hired to take out the recall implants when that particular process became obsolete. So you worked with Rico? Only briefly. But I've never seen anything quite like this before. It resembles living tissue. And it was placed exactly in the brain's storehouse of memory above the medulla and just behind the prefrontal lobe. We should go down to pathology. We'll save you the trouble and have our forensics lab analyze it. some bleeding. Let's cauterize and I'm going to close. Thank you for your insight, Detective. Cauterizing nicely. 
Have a team, please. I'm going to stop the final flow of blood by placing this microfibrillar collagen over the vascular architecture. Easy does it. David, I'm in possession of an implant that Dr. Latham removed from Ray's brain. An implant recall? No. Latham said he had never seen anything like it before. How's the kid? Stable. Thanks. Out. Favre, Hume has a lead on a dissident miner who might have set the kid up. The implant that Dr. Latham removed from Ray's brain may shed some light on how that was achieved. I don't follow. It is possible that Ray's behavior was motivated by some outside force. Mind control? Exactly. That's a capital crime. Who would risk that? Another consortium company. Possibly. Although it is unlikely that any of them has access to this technology. Latham was familiar with implant technology from his research, and he was unable to identify it. Latham works for Recall. Worked for a brief period several years ago. A background check confirms that he is currently unaffiliated. This is some kind of family squabble among consortium companies I need to know as soon as possible. Acknowledged. Olin and I are working on the implant now to determine its exact nature and origin. Los marcianos nunca atacaron. Protection Bureau. I want a fine job you're doing. You must be talking about your buddy Atwater. Barn Atwater's no friend of mine. If you'd been working those cramped, dust ridden Martian mines for 20 years, you'd know something about why he was shot. Well, looks like I came to the right place. You obviously know, so know more about it than I do. Maybe you could enlighten me. Lousy bastard was selling us out. Take a look at the contract. In 10 years, there won't be a human miner left on Mars. All the work that generations of humans have done is going to be handled by mindless androids who don't irritate people by renegotiating contracts. Why don't you go hassle some of those corporate types you guys are so chummy with? We don't need your protection. I wasn't talking about you, Larry. I was talking about Ray Dalton. He's a good kid. What he did, there's 50 others should have. Interesting. You know, speaking of Ray, we, uh, we found something in his head that proved he didn't know only pull the trigger. That means if that water dies, there's a murder rap waiting for whoever put it there. You, Larry. Good nuts.
this is extraordinary. Living brain tissue with connecting axons. Neurons and dendrons exchanging signals of thought. Completely manufactured. Yes. The perfect melding of human tissue and microprocessors. This is what caused someone to shoot Lorne Atwater? I believe so. Well, it's certainly nothing that Recall ever used. I know they've been testing all kinds of advanced graphite with tissue-based chips, but this is way beyond that. It's actually alive. Ian, are you all right? You're right, old man. It is alive. Like me. What are you saying? There was a strange connection between Ray and me. When he shot himself, it was almost as if... as if I was the one being shot. A non-local sympathetic connection. I believe the connection was between this implant and my neural processing unit. Mm -hmm. Oh, then, whoever made this technology may have created me. Try tell me something different before I lose my patience. I swear to God, you son of a... I don't know. You don't know what to say. Let's go with that. Unless you want to keep going. Because I could do this all night. Come on, Cliff! Okay, okay what, are you, what, are you, what are you offering? Did you order the hit on Atwater? I don't... Come on! Yes. Yes, he did. How did he get to Ray? Come on, Cliff! How did he get to Ray? When he was just a kid. Larry, some business with some doctor. Doctor, I need names, Cliff. Come I on, don't, names. I don't know his name. No names. Now, Larry knows people are all talking about him, like, 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 like minors, okay? And, 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 and he's paranoid that someone gave him up to you. After he does Atwater, he's gonna, he's gonna make an example to show the others not to break ranks. Who? Who? Ray? Ray? sister. Hey, I've been working for the other guy who attacked you. Longtime card holder, real tough guy. The thing is, once I started breaking him down, the guy went pretty easy. He offered up that Becker is lying about androids replacing humans to kill Atwater's agreement. Something else. The guy doesn't trust Becker to save his life. He's afraid of him. He near has testified that if Becker can't control the Union, the killing won't stop with that water. Good name is good a statement. No problem. This guy's dying to talk. The lieutenant's calling in judicial. Good. In the meantime, do me a favor, start the process of my guy. Okay, come on. Good work, Miles. Becker's not at the bar. There's no word at his sister's apartment. I'm on my way there. I've already sealed off Atwater's floor. Anybody tries to hit him, there'll be an army with you. What's the matter with you? I've discovered a link between my neural cortex and the implant taken from Ray. Becker's in business with a doctor. I'm thinking it's Latham. The only logical choice. Find him. It may be too late.
something wrong. Missed him. He's not in this room and we have two men down. Damn. Is everyone else in position? How did you know he'd be on the move? One of my detectives made a breakthrough. Are you all right? How did you know? Let's hope the kid's all right. saying no way to know if he's gonna make it a lot of people saying prayers right now well Monica Khan is gonna press forward to get his agreement ratified with Becker out of the way it may happen got some good news got some bad news you can give the bad news to Favre we have a lead on Latham you want to elaborate on that it ends at the Mars One jump port, meaning he's on his way to Mars or hiding out in the jumps. I'm sending a squad over there right now to run it down. Lieutenant, let us handle it. It's personal. Okay. You want to tell me what that was all about? I realize Dr. Latham must have put a second implant in Ray. I believe tests will show that's what caused Ray to make the second attempt on Atwater. So you've been thinking about this connection you have with the kid? Yes, David. The technology in Ray's implant is the same technology that created me. 